Mission four, the Taran Temple. As soon as you leave the uh, tunnel, stay on the left side, you'll notice a table, and on the table you'll I find the letter the one or five. From the last location, just before you hit the bridge, you will hear a cat on the tree to the right. Just shoot the cat. Once again from the previous location, this time go across the bridge and go right. If you look on the platform or the scaffolding area to the right side, just over the river, you will find your first of four jars. Relic one of six. Just to the left from the last location, activate this and then go back slightly and go where the bridge is. To the right of the bridge, you will find the combination. So yeah, just remember the combination or keep coming back and forth until you get everything. Once you've done it successfully, you can now go inside and claim the reward. Once you open this door, it's part of the story, you can't miss it. You will find a crane in front of you. On the left side, you will find a box. On that box, you'll find letter two of five. Could be some jolly useful information there. From the last location, in exactly the same location, look directly up and shoot the next jar. Shortly after going up the steps from the last location, well, from the previous area, you will find this crystal. Once you find the crystal, you don't have to activate it just yet. Go left and head down. Once you've done that, you want to activate this beacon thing here and then solve the puzzle. After you've solved it, go inside to claim the relic two of six. Jar three or four. Once you leave the tunnels, once you've already done the area, you'll come back out and you'll see another crystal. On the right side, in the arena type area down below, you will find it all the way down there. Yes, we do go there eventually, but you can shoot the jar now if you want to, or save it for later. It's up to you. Once you go in, the jar will be located above the doorway where we need to go through. So where we shot the jar, that's where the jar was. Go through the door and go towards the camp. Once you reach the camp, you will find the letter three or five. Next from that location, we'll find the blue cat number two. So once you hit the bridge, or about to hit the bridge, you'll hear another meow. Look on the arena area to the left. On the corner there, you will find the blue cat too. Now once you go across the bridge, you want to stay to the right and go into the caves. Once you've done that, you will get attacked by a scorpion. Or scorpions. And also, in this same instance, you'll find a treasure goblin. Make sure you deal with that before you kill the scorpions, because he does go away. So as soon as you start hearing the chime or the jingle, that's when you know there's a treasure goblin nearby or a treasure creature. And he will be holding the relic three of six. In that exact same location, inside the caves where we killed the scorpions and got the treasure goblin, there will be a corner to the right. So once you uh, go in this area here, there'll be three ways, left, right or forward. Go right and pick up the relic. Blue Cat 3 of 6. Quite a ways in the journey. You will come back to the area with the crane and where we found jar number 2 and letter number 2. As soon as we come down the slope, the cat will meow. Turn around and shoot it. Take that, young Just near the waterfall. Relic 5 or 6. Once we go down, head straight. Shoot the barrel, go inside, and claim your relic five or six once you've done this puzzle. 
pretty simple. What you've got to do is just um, memorize the uh, green slots and then turn around, activate the switch, and now shoot them. If you happen to do this one wrong, it does lock you out permanently, so just be warned. And then open the relic. That'll come in useful, I wager. Less of four or five. Once you get to the next campfire with a, another crystal right next to it. On the crate, you'll find the letter four or five. Oh goody, reading my favorite. Blue cat, four of six. Once you have faced a new type of enemy, and then you have to go over the bridge. As soon as you go over the bridge and almost into the door, way, that is, you'll hear a meow sound. Turn around and shoot the cat. It was him or you, strange brigade. Well shot. Now from the previous location, head down the stairs and head directly straight. You won't see the cat to the left just yet. You need to go up the stairs. As soon as you hit the top, you'll hear a cat look behind you and then pow, pow, pow. See, now a dog would have avoided that. Letter five. Once you get teleport, oh, sorry. I rephrase that. Once you stand on the platform to get teleported up into the next floor. On the left, pick up the um, letter five. Blue cat, six of six. This one's quite crafty. Just before you hit the cutscene, you'll hear a meow. As soon as this cutscene triggers, you'll want to turn around and look up. That'll be blue cat number six. And now go into the door to find the golden cat. And now the final collectible of this level relic number six activate this shard here and now we need to find where the combination is a paranormal puzzle how peculiar so the first part of the combination will be outside on the left outside on the right And then the final one, after we remember these ones, will be on the right side of the door. You need to look through one of the holes. And then you'll find the last combination. Once you go in, grab the relic. That is it. See you guys and girls in the next mission. There, don't you know? Another perilous mission magnificently accomplished. Nelson's ghost, you've acquired all the antiquities. Good show, Strange Brigade.